Hello everyone, this is Srinidhi Adhyapak from Aerobio Networks and in this video I would be showing the SD1 configuration through Forti Manager. After interface member, let's move ahead next with the SD1 template configuration. As you can see, I have added the WAN1 and WAN2 links as the interface members. In the performance SLA, I have selected Google DNS uh, as a server which was configured in the last video selected WAN1 and WAN2 link as interface member. In SLA configuration, the SD1 checks SLA defined for the both the links. As you can see, jitter latency and packet loss threshold has been configured as per testing requirement. Admin can configure the same according to their requirement. Link status is the interval time between attempting to connect to the server. Failure before active specifies the number of failure before the link becomes inactive. Restore link after specifies the number of successful response. So in SD1 rules, we have created SD1 rule called as internet, wherein the SD1 rule hit the internet rule first and act accordingly. So we have selected uh, protocol as any outgoing interface as minimum quality SLA and WAN1 and WAN2 as the interface members. In the minimum quality SLA, the FortiGate follows SD1 rules to route traffic through the SD1 interfaces that meet the latency jitter packet loss criteria. You can route traffic through the SD1 interface that have the best link quality by selecting the best quality option. In our configuration, we have selected the minimum quality SLA. So lastly, assigning the devices. The FortiGate one has been mapped to the newly created template. Once you map the WAN and interface, mapping table will be populated with the interface members automatically. In the similar manner, we have assigned FortiGate 2 with its interface and templates. Once all the configurations are finished, it's time to push the configurations to the FortiGate. Click on install wizard to push all the configurations into FortiGate. The same configurations will be reflected in both the FortiGates. Let's check if the configurations are reflected in both the 40 gates. As you can see, both the ports are up in 40 gate 1 and as well as in the 40 gate 2. In the similar fashion, we can also bundle the VPN interfaces with the WAN interfaces. Since it's a lab environment, I'm unable to simulate jitter packet loss latency. But in real time, with this configuration, the SD-WAN load balancing works perfectly. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.